Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech it's not been one day for the pixel s friends video but the sekel model and the team has given the new initial build of aosp extended rom android 12.1 for the oneplus nord 2 on 15th april 2022 actually i created one ax rom video you can check that in a right side card but that rom is developed by the another developer but now all the updates regularly will be given by the sekel and his team like the pixel s friends rom this new update is also upgrade over the old AEX ROM who gets the new Android 12.1 version, some features add on, new improved kernel and the stability performance improvement so it's definitely worth to review this upgrade. I have given the timeline of the video so you can jump to the specific part of the video if you want but I discuss lot of the important points of the ROM so watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. I am already on the Pixel S Friends 12.1 ROM but I got some issue in the installation same as the last Pixel S Friends ROM so we need to check the installation process step wise again. First download the Pixel S Friends ROM, now go to the security and remove all the pins and the password. Now as I am on the Pixel S Friends Plus I have the advanced reboot in a power menu. So by using that I will boot to the recovery, if you don't have this option. Use the ADB reboot recovery in a CMD window on the PC to boot your phone in a recovery. After booting to the recovery, so here problem start, I can't able to access my internal storage in a TWRP. Same thing was happened in a last Pixel S Friends video but I didn't show the full details there. So if such things happens to you, take the one USB OTG and the pen drive, transfer the update zip in a pen drive, now connect it to the phone using the OTG, now tap mount and check mark the USB storage. Then tap select storage option available at the bottom in a TWRP and choose the USB storage. Now tap install and select the ROM zip file, flash it. Now go to the wipe section, tap format, type yes. But still the formatting got failed here. If you get such error, boot your phone in a bootloader mode. Now connect it to the PC, type commands in a CMD, fastboot devices. Now type fastboot erase user data. Then type and enter fastboot reboot, phone will reboot now. This process will wipe all the phone data so keep the backup of the phone. It's recommended to do the clean flash over any of old ROM. Finally our device booted to the awesome looking boot animation of AOSP extended. After setting up the device we will check about phone. So this is actually Android 12.1 also called as Android 12L version. But the Android version number and the easter egg will be same like old build. This is the AOSP Extended 9.1 version. Here we will get the latest security patch of 5th April 2022. Now ROM has the new kernel same as the Pixel S Friends ROM 4.14.275 plus built with the GeoNew toolchain. This kernel will help for the better performance and the stability of the ROM. This ROM was built on 15th April 2022. Developers are got back to their work now so we will get the lots of the new updates in the upcoming days. So stay tuned to my channel. Here we will get the notifications reviews and the comparison of all the updates. Now we will discuss only special and the new features added in the ROM. If you want to check all the customization features of AEX, check the old video from the right side card. In the settings, we guess the all arranged customizations of the ROM under the extension tab. Here we guess the status bar, QS panel, navigation, lock screen, system tab, which has the respect to customization as per the tab name. In the status bar and under the battery setting, we we'll get the new battery status bar customization. It's actually the battery percentage indicator. We can place the battery bar below the status bar or above the status bar. Actually, above status bar indicator is not visible because of the screen guard. We can able to change the battery bar color and its position also. We also get the custom charging animation colors when phone gets connected to the charger. We get the same charging indicator color for the battery bar. Interesting thing is that we get the charging animation which looks cool. Inside the QS panel and under the notification we get the new notification called as reticker which is the replacement for the heads up notification. It's very minimal notification heads up and easily accessible as compared to original heads up notification. We can access the notification by just tapping on the notification. There is setting for the app color background which gives the background color to the notification similar to the application color. 
Instead of this, in the sound setting of the phone, we guess the per app volume control toggle. If we enable this, in the volume panel, we guess the tap to control the volume of ongoing media playback. Here we didn't get a vertically aligned volume panel for the media volume, call volume, alarm volume, etc. Like we get in the new P build. They are still aligned to the bottom of the screen. We also did not get the media output switch in the volume panel. In the battery stat, now we guess the battery temperature. It's not actually CPU temperature, but it reflects the CPU condition. Except these features, we guess the all the amazing features that I already discussed in the old video. I especially like the under display fingerprint icons and the animations that we didn't found in any of the custom ROM. Here we guess the bunch of the icons and the animation to choose. In the general tweaks, we guess the charging animation toggle so we can disable or enable the charging animation which can be seen after connecting charger to the phone. We also guess the old OnePlus setting, there we can see the smart charging, double tap to wake, game mode, smooth display refresh rate setting, vibration control and USB OTG toggle. But there are some drawbacks and the plus point in the ROM, as the ROM comes with the Q-step launcher, there we guess some amazing feature like double tap on the home screen to turn off the device. Because of Q-Step Launcher, we didn't get the quick switch for the last 5 wallpapers which we can see after long pressing on the home screen. It is the signature feature of Android 12L. We also didn't get the pixel wallpaper in the wallpaper and style app. We also didn't get the tab for the pictures and the web links in the recent panel. We can see the Google Lens clear all and the screenshot button at the bottom of the recent panel in the Q-Step Launcher. Other Android 12 L features are working in the ROM, like the standard tiles in the quick setting panel is working. In the recent panel, we guess the double tap to the middle bar of the split screen to switch the apps up and down. Just tapping on the home screen at a glance widget, now we can directly jump in the feeder and the calendar application. Double line clock setting is another Android 12 L feature. By using this, we can change the size of the clock on the AOD screen as shown in the video. In the app drawer, we guess the new AX wallpaper application. Here we guess the bunch of the amazing AS theme wallpapers. We also guess the new music app in the ROM. ROM comes with the Google Go camera app, which has all the working features, but still I have given the fully working Google Cam MGC build in the video description. I am testing some OnePlus camera ports for the Nord 2. As soon as we will get the stable camera build, I will pause the video. All the things are working in the ROM, like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, OLT incoming and outgoing calls, Bluetooth with the HD audio, GPS, NFC, auto brightness, under display fingerprint and the alert slider. Only face unlock is not available in the ROM. So let's do some performance and the stability test. ROM is feeling very smooth, no lags in the ROM, even on the 60Hz refresh rate. After taking the Geekbench test, I got the highest result than the Oxygen OS ROM. I got the 784 for the single core and for multi core I got the 2676 which is amazing and it's actually reflects in the ROM performance. ROM successfully passed the Asana safety net check so all the banking and the security apps will work in the ROM. Wide one test is also got passed we guess the L1 security so we can watch the HD content in online streaming media players. Unlimited photo backup available in the photo application. All the sensors are working like the accelerometer, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, only light and the barometer test got failed, but still the auto brightness is working in the ROM without issue. Battery life is not tested yet, but I will check it and post in the comment section after full testing. So this is all about the new update of AX ROM. Now question comes in the everyone's mind which is better Pixel S Friends Plus or the AX. AX is one of the best customizable ROM having the great performance and the stability similar to the Pixel S Friends. Battery life is not tested yet but it may be nearer to the Pixel S Friends. If you are a lover of extreme customization with the stable performance then go for the AX or if you want a minor customization with the stability and the performance then go for the Pixel S Friends Plus. Hope you like my work. If yes, please do like and share this video. Subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content for the not 2. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.